I'm sorry we cannot be together in person, but we are certainly together in spirit. And thanks to technology, our audience is no longer limited to the Pierre Hotel. We have people here from all over the world. With more than 1,500 people across 13 different countries registered for this conference, it's one of the largest events we've ever hosted. As many of you know, NYU Shack Institute plays a critical role in the real estate industry. Quite simply, it trains the next generation of industry leaders, many of whom are with us today. Although these are incredibly challenging times, you are fortunate to be studying at the best real estate school in the country, in the best city in the world. When we started the NYU Real Estate Institute 53 years ago in 1967, we had 30 students in a three course curriculum. We focused on sales, leasing and finance and all the instructors were industry professionals who taught at night what they did during the day. Today, Shack Institute is the leading real estate school in the country. We have more than 700 students across four degree programs. Thousands more are enrolled in our executive corporate professional education classes, all taught by the largest faculty of academic and adjunct faculty of any real estate program. Dean Chandon continues to do a terrific job in leading the Institute. I've been in regular contact with Sam since the early weeks of this pandemic. There's no doubt this has been one of the most challenging periods in modern history for institutions of higher education. But the team at Shack moved quickly in March to take all of our courses online and they have not missed a beat since then. This fall, classes have been online and in person, giving the students critical flexibility to continue their studies. Sam and his staff have been working around the clock to support students currently studying from 50 different countries in almost every time zone. Student connections to industry have not been put on hold. This summer and fall, we have hosted more student industry programs than ever before more than 200 programs, large and small, including a weekly REIT CEO interview series. Shaq's momentum is just unstoppable, even by a global pandemic. Applications for Shaq's fall 2020 semester increased more than 30% from 2019. Dean Chandon and the faculty are hard at work on our new center in Shanghai. This summer, they also launched the new Center for Real Estate Finance in partnership with the Commercial Real Estate Finance Council and recruited senior faculty from Cornell and the New York City Economic Development Corporation. A new program focused on the experience of minority professionals in the real estate industry has drawn national attention. We've awarded new scholarships for women, students of color, and LGBTQ students. There's much more coming in the new year beginning with the Young Wu Design Lab, launching in early 2021. The list goes on and on, and I'd like to spend a minute to address the growing chorus of naysayers claiming that New York's best days are behind us. They're out in full force yet again, saying that New York's residents and companies are on the verge of leaving the city. As we all showed post 9-11, that sort of thinking is nonsense, and it sells New Yorkers short. The same qualities that drove the world's top companies and creative talents back to lower Manhattan then, and to the Big Apple before this outbreak, will continue to lure them here long after we have returned to work. Despite the pandemic, the city's fundamentals remain strong. The world's leading companies still want to be here, along with the company's stock exchanges. We are the media, fashion, and finance capital of the world, and the world's biggest technology companies continue to lease large amounts of space here. We have some of the world's top museums, many of which have reopened. Hopefully, they will be followed by the return of our live music venues and theaters. New York is home to some of the country's leading sports teams and their stadiums. There are 27,000 restaurants and 10,000 more bars in the city 
we have a mass transit system that still has the capacity to move over five million New Yorkers every day. Most importantly, New York remains home to eight million people. Over 400 years, people from all over the world and representing every walk of life have come to New York to build a better life, to follow their dreams, to achieve fame and fortune. That dynamic won't be changing anytime soon. This city has and will continue to have the smartest, hardest working, most talented and ambitious people in every facet of professional and personal life. If you want to be competitive, if you want to be creative, if you want to be successful at the highest levels, you need to be in New York. Whether you're into the arts or theater, dance, music, or the disciplines of real estate, finance, technology, healthcare, philanthropy, or law, this is the place to do it. Once a vaccine is developed and distributed globally, the world will start to come back to where it was prior to the virus. Will this happen overnight? No. But will it happen a year from now? I believe so. Scientists around the world are focusing on finding a cure. So I think we just have to hang in there, use common sense, wear our masks, wash our hands, and socially distance. Just like in 2001, most of those who initially left will come back, and those who don't will ultimately be replaced by a new generation of bright, ambitious, and talented young people. I know I'm biased, but I awake every day thankful for what New York has given me and excited and proud for what I can do for this great city going forward. Thank you.